Welcome to Mars Lens. When you look at Mars, it feels like you're staring into the heart of another world. A place that seems close in our night sky lies impossibly far away. NASA's Perseverance rover landed here to explore, to search, and to capture what no human has ever seen in person. Every image it sends back is like a quiet whisper from a lonely, frozen desert millions of kilometers away. Mars is more than red dust and scattered rocks. It is a place shaped by rivers that no longer flow, by lakes that dried up billions of years ago. When perseverance moves across its surface, the tracks it leaves mark soil untouched since time began. And as you look at those tracks, it's hard not to imagine the echo of an ancient world, still alive in memory, but silent in reality. Some days, Perseverance sends images of endless plains where the horizon melts into a soft, dusty orange sky. Other days, it shows towering cliffs and strange rock formations, carved by forces we can only guess at. These images hint at a Mars that was once alive with water, and maybe even life. A story written in stone, waiting for someone to read it. Rover's cameras are more than instruments. They are our eyes, human eyes, looking across an alien world. When Perseverance watches the sun dip below the Martian horizon, it's as if Earth and Mars are sharing a silent greeting across space. From Mars, Earth is just a pale blue star. From Earth, Mars is just a pale red one. Two planets, quietly watching each other. There's a deep loneliness in these images. No movement, no voices, just the thin wind sweeping across the plains, shaping the land grain by grain. Perseverance works tirelessly, its mechanical heart powered by the hope that one day, human footsteps will follow its wheel marks. Every rock, every shadow, every ripple in the sand holds a story older than humanity itself. And Perseverance is the storyteller, sending pieces of that story home. It's not just exploring Mars, it's preserving its history, one photograph at a time. Maybe one day, we will walk here. We will stand on the same ground Perseverance has touched. And when we look up at Earth from this red world, we might finally understand how small we are and how connected we've always been.